Hi guys, this is Adco. I'm going to be doing a video here in about a minute. But before I did that, I wanted to show you guys and share some information about my channel. I've had my channel now for just a little bit over six years. I was looking at how I'm doing in the reports, and I've just lately passed 2,000 subscribers. And I'm close to hitting 700,000 views. Never thought I would do anything like this. I started my channel where I wanted to show a little bit of my game room and thought I'd do one, two, maybe three videos and that would be it. Now it's been six years and I've had over 250 videos uploaded. So I want to thank all you guys, especially my subscribers many that have been with me almost the whole time I've had my channel and all my viewers that are not subscribers but are still watching when I look at the reports I've had a pretty nice range of people looking at my videos so again I just wanted to thank you all for that I appreciate it okay What I want to talk about in this video, I'm sure just about all the rooms that people have in their homes, they have some kind of decor that they use in the walls. Sometimes we'll do a picture of things on that wall, or maybe I've seen these big clocks that can take over most of a room. Or a lot of people will just have a whole variety of different types of pictures or a shelf with a few things to show. Well, I'm no different than that. I've had things in my game room and I also have another room down in the basement that I call my shop. And I thought I'd show you guys what I've done to one of my walls. I probably got a good 300 cassette rock and roll tapes. I play those on my Panasonic deck also have about 500, a good 500 uh, 8 track tapes and I'll play those quite often through my Panasonic 8 track player and then also I've got of course from back in the 90's I had a lot of CD's and I play those through a CD player as well to hear from those machines I have a pair of Bose 201 speakers and I use those for any of those three and this room is not that big so it gives me plenty of sound and a lot of bass and I'm very pleased with that but also I've also been picking up a lot of boom boxes mostly cassette boom boxes that I pick up my yard sales and as I start picking them up I thought well let's start adding that into that wall so let me show you what I've run into now these two, I got both of these probably about four or five years ago. And I think I got the $5 for each of them. They were in really, really good shape. So many boom boxes that you find at yard sales, they're pretty beat to death. And when I find one that's in good shape, I grab it if I can. And both of these, um, they work fine. And I keep those up there. Then also on the other seven that I have um, are ones that I picked up mostly in the last couple of years. And I don't think I paid more than $2 for each. Most of them worked. Two or three may had to have a, a belt. I don't use them that much. I like them for more like a display than anything. But of the ones I do have, this one is Panasonic has the best sound very surprisingly good bass but my favorite units I have two of these small little Panasonic boom boxes they may not have the best sound but for some reason those are my favorites I got both of those different times but during the year at yard sales got each one for a dollar apiece neither one used much and both had been stored for a long time 
I picked those up. Looked like brand new. Tapes worked good. And maybe that's why I like them because it looks so close to being brand new. So those are my units that I use for display. I do have a couple other things too and that's these Juke Masters. What I have, I've got three of these. One of them is up in the game room on the first floor that is used quite often. But if any of those don't know what a Juke Master is, it's a, like a replica of the old Seaberg wall box, uh, the jukebox uh, table unit. They're really cool. They came out about the mid of 2000s and I think the company was only in business for a couple of years. I bought one brand new from back there in around 20, 2007, 2008. And I got another one I found on Craigslist about two years ago. And then just about a month ago, I bought one on eBay for $82. It said, buy it now, free shipping. But the reason I keep those is I have the one that I use up in the game room. And when people come in, it's probably used more than the jukebox itself that I have in there. I put different songs and different title strips for each of the machines. I just swap them around every few months and have different music on there. So, in case somebody's asking me would I buy one, not right now. I like these the way it is and uh, uh, it, it's fun having them for swapping around. Okay, so overall now, uh, other than the Juke Masters, probably all the players that I've had in that wall, it's probably easily under $200. And I probably would pay $200 for just a picture in a wall somewhere. So this has become a nice way to have a little decor of my electronic stuff. And it's always fun when somebody comes in and shows me, take a look at my room down in the basement and the first thing they look at is oh wow are they cool boom boxes you know I always like that <laughs> okay guys well just thought I'd show you that stuff and um, this is Atco signing off <laughs>